Welcome to Papa Jake's Jurassic World. Might look like regular turtles, but they've already been injected with dinosaur creating DNA and will soon turn into full fledged dinosaurs. Oh, oh no. Jake, why is it shaking? I think a raptor's coming, Logan. A raptor must be here. Jake, is that a raptor? I don't know, Logan. The raptor you won't come and we're done. We're done for, Logan. It's all over. Hey, yo, what is going on, everyone? It's Dino Papa Jake, and we are back with a brand new video. And today, as you guys have already heard, I am going to be showing Logan a project that I've been working on for some time. And you guys probably think I'm joking around. You probably think Papa Jay, you're just saying that. Logan even thinks I'm just saying it. How cool could this Jurassic World be, Jake? Logan, it's in our backyard. This is the real deal. $80 million have gone this, into this. This is not $80 million, Jake. Eight, I don't have $80 million. $80 million. We have been able to take DNA from turtles, one of the longest and oldest known species, and create our very own dinosaurs. And I'm gonna give you one of the first tours in Papa Jake's Jurassic Park. I couldn't do it alone. I had some help. Phil. Yucky. Come on over here, Phil. Phil has been our lead scientist and uh, trainer in the- You guys look like matching outfits. Well, yeah, we've been at this for a while. You've been gone for on vacation for quite some time. So Phil actually is the lead scientist. He was the one that helped extract the DNA from the turtles to create our very own set of dinosaurs. Jake, so you're telling me there's dinosaurs over there? Not yet, Logan. We are so close, and guys, I am not kidding. We are so close to having real dinosaurs in our Jurassic Park. We have already created a water enclosure. We have already created an enclosure for a Velociraptor. We even have one for a T-Rex. But of course, first, we need to breed them. It will take some time, but with our advanced technology and Phil's brains, we should be able to get this done in no time. But Logan, why don't I show you what your credit card has built? Because honestly, man, as much as Phil's brains have gone into this and my passion, it's your hard earned cash that made this all happen. Thanks Logan. And you will be repaid with a 2% fee for every pass bought at our park. 2%, Jake. 2%. 2% is not gonna cut $8 million. Well, we're charging $15 entry fee. Now welcome to Papa Jake's Jurassic Park. And guys, before we even enter, <laughs> Jake, I thought that was the cue. Not yet, Phil. Jake, that sounded like the cue to show me Jurassic Before Park. Before we even enter, I can't stress this enough. We are going to have real dinosaurs. And if you want to see them, if you want us to do what science has been unable to do for years and show you real dinosaurs, then smack that like button down below. And if you guys want a shout out at the end of this video, I say it all the time. It's so easy. Click the subscribe button. Click that bell button. Leave a comment. Hashtag squad because you're joining the dino squad. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic World! This way, Logan. Welcome to Papa Jake's Jurassic World. 50 acres of dinosaur fun that we will be offering to the public. Jake, this place is crazy. You got turtles? Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. This place is entirely safe. We've done everything from the ground up. I know we had an issue in the last one, but trust me, that is not gonna repeat. This time, we're doing it ourselves. These turtles might look like regular turtles, but they've already been injected with dinosaur creating DNA and will soon turn into full-fledged dinosaurs. We just don't know which ones yet. Right, Phil? I think so. You put Phil in charge of the DNA testing. Well, yeah, he's our head scientist. Phil, why don't you tell Logan a little bit about the species of these turtles? You mean the ones with shells on their back? Reptile. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. They love to wrestle, guys. Now, Logan, let me show you the, uh, well, it's in its early stages, but this is going to be the tour bus. Uh, please, you're our guest today. I know you didn't pay. Get inside. Jake, I paid for this entire place. Right, you you did do that. Besides that, get inside your viewing booth. Now, this is a state-of-the-art viewing booth. Now, we can expand this for all of our viewers, and we can show them the entire world. Maybe you could get some air conditioning in here. It's really hot. Okay, well, keep your feet inside, because once we get the T-Rexes going, you know, they might bite you off. But all right, Logan, let me start your tour. All right, Jake, ready to go. I want to welcome everyone on board Papa Jake's Jurassic World tour. Uh, we'll be starting off with our baby turtles that we are turning into dinosaurs. Uh, just want to remind everyone to keep your feet and hands inside the vehicle at all times. And uh, first of all, fun is our number one priority. Is everyone having fun back there? Woo! I think I'm going to die of the heat. It's so hot. Whoa! Oh. Remember, if you look out the left side, you'll be greeted with our baby dinosaurs, AKA turtles at their current moment. Got a great viewing of the turtles. Well, Logan, since you're a VIP member, we're actually gonna let you out and uh, show you the baby dinosaurs. Why don't you come on here? 
Oh, Jake, once I got in this thing, I'm not getting out. I, I can barely fit in. I'm kind of trapped inside this cart. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Now, you may have seen some people do some crazy things on YouTube. I've even seen Coyote Peterson do some dangerous stuff. But nothing is as dangerous as getting inside a pen with baby dinosaurs. These things are fast, they're mean, and they're angry. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Watch it, Logan. He can move at the speed of light. Whoa, I've got one creeping up on my side here. Oh, he's coming right for me. He's coming right for me. Settle down. Settle down. It's okay. Oh. I want to name this one Jimmy. Phil's already named them. Phil, what's this guy's name? That's Woodboard. All right, you know what, Logan, you can name them. Phil does not know how to name hey, things. Hey. If you look at his shell, he kind of does look like a wood board. He reminds me of a wood board. Looks wood like board. a tree. I guess he does. We Phil, we got one escaping. Oh, Phil, Phil. Do not let the babies escape. If they escape and turn into a T-Rex, we have a big problem on our hands. All right, Neutron, get back in the cage. You didn't hear that. No, there's no danger if they escape. They're, Jake, they're perfectly fine. You can't have turtles me, escaping. If turtles are escaping, dinosaurs are gonna escape. So let me get back to my tour. So Larry over here is a desert tortoise. Now, he can live up to 200 years old. That's like two of you, Logan. Now, the thing about Larry is he's been injected with a very special type of DNA that me and Phil have been creating using the assets or funding from you. Now, with that funding, we have been able to create a mutation inside him. Right now, he's a turtle, but soon he will turn into a full-fledged dinosaur. There you go, Larry. Sounds a little dangerous, Jake. Now, we don't exactly know what they will turn into. For example, over here. Phil, what was this one's name again? That's Rock. Right. So Rock, right now, could turn into a velociraptor. He also could turn into a T-Rex, but there's a very large chance he could turn into a harmless Stegosaurus. And you'll notice that throughout our entire building of this park, we've created different enclosures. Dude, you're stepping on my foot! Ow! Oh. oh, that one's Fruit Loop! Fruit Loop's on my foot, Phil. Standing on my foot. As I was saying, every dinosaur has its own enclosure because eventually they will turn into something. We just can't predict that yet. But if you continue on the tour with me, I can show you some else. We also have a different species we're working on, a water species. Oh! Because, oh. uh, that's okay. That's Wood Plank, don't worry about him. He's really gentle. Wood Very gentle. That's why we named him Wood Plank. Every species, Logan, can turn into something, but we wanted to discover water. Uh, one of our early investors, you'll meet him soon. Uh, he's actually on the board as well. He was very adamant that we created water dinosaur. You ever seen a turtle that walks that fast? I'm not gonna lie, Phil. Turtles are known for being slow. This guy's ripping around. I think it's working. There's a chance that the DNA processing might be happening quicker than we thought. But the cages, I don't think it's, they're gonna be able to hold. You did the mathematical formula correct, right? Jake, you got some serious security flaws it's here. It's fine, Logan. Phil did the mathematical formula perfectly correct. They will grow into dinosaurs at a slow and steady rate. Yeah, even that guy I spoke to on the phone helped me with the math. See? The investor? <laughs> holding his hand, Jake. All right, Logan, get back inside. We're heading to the next enclosure, which will be our raptor cage. And guys, like I said, if you stick around, one of these turtles is going to grow into a life-size raptor. Smack that like button, because the more likes, I think the bigger this raptor's gonna get. Hold on, Logan. Oh, Jake! Oh! Ow! And welcome to the <laughs> raptor enclosure. Jake. Seriously? Who said that this thing could withstand a T-Rex attack? We spent all our budget on the turtles. We did spend a lot on the turtles. All right, well, Logan, welcome to the raptor enclosure. Stay back, though. Now, normally on the tour, you would come here. This fence is electrified with over 5,000 5, volts. Well, I was going to say, it better be electric or something, because a T-Rex is going to get through this. Not a T-Rex, Logan. A Velociraptor. On the other side of this is a forest, because they need a lot of space. He can roam around, run around, but the coolest part is when we feed him. Phil, get his food. Phil, you got the snacks? Yeah, Jake! Licorice, Logan. They Dinosaurs love it. like licorice? Yeah, we scientifically figured that out. Well, at least Phil did, right, Phil? Yeah, who doesn't like licorice? Is that how you figured it out? Yeah, who doesn't like licorice? Okay, well, come on. I'll show you around, Logan. So you climb up here, pretty simple. Ah, now this wouldn't be for the normal tour, but this is how we're gonna feed the Velociraptor. Seems a little dangerous, Whoa, feeding a Velociraptor. Ah, now this is where he'd be, down here. And I'd use my clicker to train him. So I'd click, like in the movie, you know? And that, I think that's how it works. And then when they come, we'll feed them licorice. So anyone viewing down there gets to see a live Velociraptor eat licorice. 
Who doesn't want to see that? Oh, oh no. Oh no. What? Jake, why is it shaking? I think a raptor's coming, Logan. A raptor must be here. Jake, is that a raptor? I don't know, Logan. The raptor won't come and we're done. We're done for, Logan. It's all over. You said there was no raptors. Uh, I'm just kidding. I know there isn't any. Phil is shaking. See? That kind of reaction is what we want from the public when we open this place up. Now, come on. I gotta show you the next part. The water area. Now, the water area we've created is big enough to house a megalodon. One of the uh, animals we currently have there is uh, one that we're testing to turn into a megalodon. Well, at least we hope so. Uh, anyway, keep your hands inside and uh, no refunds. Jake, what's going on? Whoa! Oh! 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 oh, Jake, careful! All right. Jake, you're literally gonna break this place and dinosaurs are gonna escape. You're gonna be charged for that. That was you. Now over here is the fence to Papa Jake's Jurassic Water World. Here, 50,000 gallons of pure salt water. We'll have sharks, megalodons, Loch Ness monsters if they exist. Everything that you could possibly want. Jake, that sounds really dangerous. No, Just having a, a viewing cage for, for viewers. So you can actually go down into the cage and view the megalodon. It's like a shark cage, but it's even better because it's a megalodon. Jake, a megalodon would just be able to chomp right through that cage. It's wood. No, triangles, dude. We built it with triangles. Strongest shape in, in history. Now, come on, check this out. Logan, I totally forgot. We forgot to give you your complimentary hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him the hat. Give him the hat. I don't want the hat. There, you gotta have it. There you I, go. I don't now want this hat. There wrangler. you go. All right, now guys, this is one of the animals that we are gonna be using to transform into a water dinosaur. And guys, after this, I'm gonna show Logan one of the dinosaurs that has turned already into a baby. We don't really know what it is yet because Phil hasn't told me, but I think it's a stegosaurus, I, I don't know. It's a baby something, but it's a dinosaur. Oh, Jake. Check it out, guys. It is a iguana. As you can see, the perfect specimen to turn into a real life dinosaur, especially the kind that swim. Because these iguanas, they can swim. Logan, why don't you uh, come closer and hold them? You want me to hold this guy? Yeah, buddy. Soon, this thing's gonna be a megalodon. Whoa! Or a shark. Dude! What's his name? Oh, he's my favorite! Mr. Blue! Dude, Mr. Blue's eyes are gold. He's got a little dinosaur flap right there. That's how you know he's a dinosaur. Look at his arms! If you genetically modified this guy, his arms would be massive. See, now he's starting to get it, Phil. He's on the bandwagon, Logan. Hey, this buddy. This is going to be it. Guys, let me know in the comments if you would want to come to Papa Jake's Dinosaur Park. It's 100% safe, and Logan gets 2% of the proceeds. Wait, wait, Jake, did you watch him swim yet? Oh yeah, Logan, Jake, check out his swim. I don't abilities. know if this guy loves me or he wants to eat me, uh, but he's looking at me like I'm his dad. Dude, I, I want this guy. I want this guy to be my pet. You want to go swimming, Mr. Blue? Okay, Jake, this place is awesome. I'm fully on board. Right? Jurassic World. Guys, and if you think this is sick and you want to see these animals turn into real dinosaurs, hit that like button down below because, again, I'm not lying. They are going to turn into real dinosaurs. And if you don't believe me, Logan, the tour ends with something. And I want to show you this. We have one of our first babies. Security access granted. All right, follow me, Logan. Security for what? Check it out. Right in here. Whoa. Jake, that's a real dinosaur. I call him Leonardo. Leonardo? Wait, Jake, Jake, is that thing safe to touch? Oh, yeah, very safe. You can pick him up and hold him. Jake? This one day, Logan, will turn into a massive stegosaurus. And this is just one of the many. I mean, you saw how many turtles we have. We, we have a lot coming. And just think about it. Velociraptors, T-Rexes, and it's all state-of-the-art. It's all brand new. It will not be like last time. Phil, you want to pet him? How are we doing, Leo? Phil's been feeding him. Um, Jake, sorry to stop the fun, but uh, he's here. He's in the security Wait, who, Who's here? Boss is here. I just got the text. Okay, yeah. you're gonna want to meet him. Come on. I'm the boss. I technically bought and paid for this whole place. This way, Logan. Let's go. Let's go. 